The film you are about to see represents a significant breakthrough in the advancing science of the motion picture. For years, the industrial film has been plagued by the always difficult, sometimes impossible to explain costs of original creative thinking in script preparation, photography, and editing. Now, at last, we are pleased to announce the elimination of these unnecessary irritants through the utilization of a hard-hitting, versatile, and all-encompassing film document. The first truly all-purpose film. You are about to witness history in the making. Come on in. Oh, hey, lovely. Hey, so what are you up to? I'm just reading. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, all right. So what are you reading? Ah, uh, just about myths and like Bigfoot, aliens. So do you believe in that kind of stuff? Nah, it's, it's all pretty much bullshit to me. You really think so? Mm. Have you had any, like, experience with any of those types of things? No. None? None whatsoever. Do you believe in that kind of stuff? Well, yeah, kinda. What, you think that's funny? A little. Well, you might think differently if you seen one. Maybe if somebody who had credibility told me something I would think differently. Well, have you heard of the melon heads? No. Well, in the town I grew up in, there were legends of the melon heads. Did you have an encounter with one? Yeah, I, I did. I was young. Uh, I don't remember the exact age, really. I was outside with my mom. It was probably middle of summer. I don't even remember. It just, she was messing around in her garden. Dad was out in the woods, probably messing around with something, chopping wood. I don't even know. And we heard these screams. Never heard anything like it. It's impossible to describe. And we went running to try and see what in the world was wrong. And there were the melon heads. They, they killed him. 
mom went crazy afterwards, almost within hours it seemed like. The whole town thought we both were insane. They told us we couldn't possibly have seen what we saw and some people I think even thought she did it, which you know is unfathomable to me but who knows with people nowadays. So we left. We just packed up and took the clothes we owned and then disappeared. So I'm inclined to believe that it's possible some of those things do exist. I didn't know what to say. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Let me ask you something. If the answer's no, it's all right. Ask away. I'm doing this project for a class and it's about misidentification of myths and all that and what animals or things it could have been. Is it all right if I go to Allegan to search for these things? Yeah, definitely. You just be careful out there, because these things are real. I guess I'll be taking off first thing tomorrow. Well, like I said, just be careful. I will. What can I get for you? Can I get gin and a beer? Make it two. Two? How much will that be, bartender? Five fifty. Pain shit. I've always been a lousy drunk. Whatever, man. I've been a lousy bartender. Make another one. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you ever heard of melon heads? They're like a creature in melon <laughs> <laughs> Melon heads. <sighs> this motherfucker. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, man. Take it easy. I heard there might be some credibility to that. Credibility, my ass. <laughs> Maybe the Joe Dobbs and that cunt wife of Whoa, this. whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, Alan. Who's Joe Dobbs? Joe Dobbs is a bad man. Joe Dobbs is a fine man. I know that myself. And he's been through some rough times, so you need to lay off. Joe Dobbs lost his damn mind. You would have gone crazy too if that would have happened to your daughter. You need to do your damn job, sweetie. You know, you might be onto something. But there sure wasn't no melon heads. The meth heads, if you ask me. What does this even have to do about melon heads? What does this have to do with meth heads? They lost their daughter a couple years ago, you know. So people think the melon heads did it? People is a loose term. Joe Dobbs and his wife think so. Yeah. But they never found the body. Could be in a swamp, maybe by the Algon Dam. Um, they live by the dam, you see, so. Bunch of crazy lunatics. I completely disagree with what that. What a Santa Claus! You toothberries! Hey, they lost their daughter. Fuck their daughter! Well, I mean, honestly, you might be right. It's probably not melon heads, but. No. I, I don't know. I mean, come to think of it, there was another story where um, the husband and um, his daughter thought that the mother slash wife got killed. So, I don't know. I don't think that's how it happened, though. That girl's my fiance. Oh, really? Stacy Weber. What's she doing these days? She's studying cryptozoology at West. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Well, you're a lucky man. Don't go thinking I'm a bad guy just because I'm discrediting these stories. I mean, I think they're probably just thinking, you know, maybe there's still some hope, maybe they're still alive. But, I mean, who knows. It's better than thinking <laughs> they're just rotting under a dam or in a swamp somewhere. Right? If there are any melon heads out there, your best bet is to go to Joe Dobbs. He probably knows the most information out of anybody. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, Barry Crunch. He lives out in the forest, um, it's 102 Davis Street, a little west of Allegan.
So okay. I think I know where that is. Okay. Good luck finding it. Well, thanks for the help. No problem. One more. I think you've had enough, Alan. I think you've had enough, Steve. Ah, get off me, drunk. I, I did not ask for any of this. It's pretty Get out of my bar. You screw this shit. Let's get off me. Get off me. Joe Dobbs. Maybe I came to the wrong place. Yeah, my name's Joe Dobbs. Who exactly is asking? My name's Brian Clark. I wanted to ask you about... The, the melon heads, right? Yeah. Let me guess. Probably want to ask my wife now. Put her words all out of context and everything when asking about my daughter. Make us look like a bunch of dumb rednecks like everyone else who comes right back here asking about them. I have to admit, I am here for the melon heads. Suppose the people back in town told you to look for me, eh? Yeah. They told me you had an encounter with a melon head a few years ago. Encounter? Those sons of bitches took my daughter. The only things I ever cared about on this planet. Treat us like we're fools now, everyone around this town. Me and my wife, we live in shame. Sir, I have reason to believe that there's some stock in the stories you tell. I'm not just doing this for me, but for... But for my daughter. Let me guess, that's what you're gonna say. All you college kids are just alike. You don't give a damn about my daughter. You don't give a damn about my wife. You don't give a damn about me. Let me guess, you probably just think it's some meth heads running wild in the no. woods. No. No, you think it's some wild animal or something like that. You just want to make a name for yourself. That's all. I'm just a means to an end for you. No, it isn't that. Look, I'll give you this, Mr. Clark. You seem like a decent guy. Honestly, more than any of the other people who came around here. But at this point, I'm not interested. I gotta go back and check on my wife. Look, many years ago, my girlfriend's father was murdered by a millhead. With your help, perhaps it will help you and your wife find the person responsible for this. Look, the first thing you have to understand, this isn't a person. Calling this thing an animal is even an insult to the most vile creature. So is this a yes? I need to talk to my wife first. Where are you staying at the moment? Sunset Motel. Sunset Motel, what room? 101. You'll have my answer. I'll be in touch in either case. I don't know how I can possibly thank you. I haven't said yes yet. And look, if we do this, we do it my way. I don't need some rich punk telling me how to do this. But we'll get that thing. But you keep your word. My way. You have my word. Alright, let me get out of here. I got things to do. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. I ran into someone in the woods today. Who? Was it, was it another melon head hunter? I know what you're gonna say. To answer your question, yeah, it was. I know. Yeah. This guy is different. I, I, I can sense it. He's in it for himself. I'm not naive to that. I know. Are you sure? Yes. 
He wants to get these things, but we want to get these things too, and we can get the, get the, the monster who killed our daughter. Well, I want justice, but I don't want you to get hurt either. Yeah, I know. But we can't let these things out there. Who knows how long it's going to be before they hurt someone else. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to get hurt out there. We got a gun. This guy, uh, his name is Brian, by the way. Um, he's educated. He, he knows his stuff about the outdoors. Um, and I, I think we have a good chance of getting him. Look. I just can't live with myself knowing I didn't try and just go out and kill this thing. I know. Just be careful, okay? I will. Just go out there and kill I'll get it. Morning, Brian. Thank you. I have to admit, I didn't think I'd see you here. Well, I did some thinking. That is to say, my wife and I did some thinking. We gotta get prepared for this stuff. Why don't you grab whatever you need in there? I got my stuff in the truck. Okay. So what's the history on the melon heads? About 50 years ago, there was a scientist who did experiments with nuclear radiation. He experimented on a bunch of mental patients. Kind of like the Holocaust? Something like that. Anyways, either they killed him after they got all powerful from the radiation, or he let them loose. Either way, they ended up here in the Allegan Woods. And they kill people every so often. And I don't care what they say around this community. Those are the people who are responsible for killing my daughter. I guess we'll just have to get them then. We'll try for that. We'll try for that. Right up there, stop at that ravine. They usually like to hide out down there. We'll set our bait there and we'll be ready in the morning. All right, let's do this thing. Sounds good. What creek is this? Well, I don't know what the name of the creek is. 
but uh, it'll lead into the Kalamazoo River. So you know this area? Yeah, I grew up here. I used to play down here as a kid. My daughter used to play down here too. This is the Kalamazoo River right here. A lot of it's vacant, so if the melon heads are around here, where there's water. That makes perfect sense. If you go up here, no one's going to find it right here. Gosh, what is that? What do you got? I think you got a footprint. Footprint. What's that? Here. Looks right. like it's coming right out of this world. Man, that is a massive footprint. That must be 16 inches in length. Yeah. That's crazy. Looks like it just came from the riverbed too, like it, it almost walked across. That's what I was thinking. Looks like they just walked in one side of that river and came out the other. I bet you that's where they're getting their food from. They're just pulling the fish right out of the water. Jesus. You weren't lying, Joe, when you said I would get dirty. Yeah, no kidding. That's how we're going to get them, though. I just take a break and sit down here and wait to see if anything happens. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad idea. It's how you hunt. So, yeah, you're right. Let's see if we can find anything lurking along the riverbed. All right. That clearing over there is pretty nice, so if we stay hidden right here, I bet you something might come right up there and not even see us. I think stay right. For a bit. Well, I don't know much about Joe Dobbs. Yeah. I guess there's not a lot to know. I uh, grew up around around Allegan County, at Seago to be specific. Um, met my wife around here. Got married around here. I had my kid around here. I guess I'm probably probably seem like a hick to you. I don't know. I like a little bit more than just you know, going to bars and stuff. I really like old films. Especially uh, Nosferatu. That's a good one. I like watching that. Yeah, my wife and I, we, we probably wouldn't guess this with me. You probably think I'm some hardcore beer and whiskey drinker, but we have a little bit of a collection of old wines. It's something she kind of got me into. Joe Dobbs, lover of fine wine. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But I don't know. I haven't had much, much for that since my daughter, my daughter got killed. I mean, it just kind of sticks with you. The guy at the bar I was talking to made it out, but sounding like he didn't, you weren't human. Well, that ain't true. The guy at the bar. What does this guy look like? Kind of, kind of squirmy. Man named Alan. I think, I think that's what his name was. Yeah, that son of a bitch. Yeah, he just doesn't like me. He's known me my whole life. He's a good guy, though, deep down. A little bit of an alcoholic, though. Yeah. That's, what I, that's what, how he came across to me. Yeah, that's how he comes across to everyone. You know, Brian, kind of took you the wrong way when I first met him. I guess I don't know much about you either. What's your story? Well, I'm, from, I'm from the east side. I'm from the Detroit area. Came up here for school, got my schooling done here. And you, even though I'm a look like a city slicker, me and my girlfriend are a little bit more on the countryside. Oh yeah? Yeah, we raise llamas. Llamas, huh? Yeah. How come? 
because they're beautiful animals and they, they do good wonders for the wool they have. And they have good meat too. Ah, uh, you kind of struck me as a vegetarian type, honestly. Is that what you get for me? No, there's nothing. But I was just wondering. Llamas, huh? Yep. I've always been intrigued by the unknown mysteries. That's why I love this 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 little project we have going on. You know, I guess it's giving me a little sense of performance too. It's nice. I'm having a goal in mind again. It'd be nice to have a peace of mind again back in town too. Such is life. You'll have to give me some llama meat sometime. I'll give you some deer meat. It's a good offer. Yeah, there's some berries over there. Let's see if I can pick you some of those. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I think that's it over there. Where? I don't even see it. Right oh my there gosh. in the woods. What I'm is that? I'm going after that thing. Hey man, you don't have anything on you. Fuck, you're right. Shit, we gotta get out of here. Those things will tear us up. Oh my god, it's coming right for us. Come on! Let's get out of here! Get the car started! Get the car started! Okay, when we come back there, we got our spot now. We got to come back with weapons, though. It was too fucking close. I've never been so much scared in my life. I think I saw the goddamn thing. That, that, that was a fucking melon head. I don't know what melon head looks like, but that was no person, that's for sure. I, just, I, I saw it coming through the woods. We heard that fucking noise. I, I Jesus Christ. Uh, we could have died out there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not much of a fighting man, but I would feel much better with the gun at hand. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to kill those things like you kill those fucking llamas because I swear to Jesus Christ, like... I mean, it's just a matter of time before it kills a fucking kid or something like that. I guess we'll go back to my place. I got a gun over there. You, you, fuck the motel. It's just, just I got a spare room. You can stay at my place. My wife's not gonna mind it. We got a plan. Okay. Had enough action for today. Yeah. Whew. That's for sure. I have a knife on me. That's it's all fine and good. I don't, I don't care if it's a fucking a fucking machete. Hey, we, we need big guns. I mean, that's our best bet. But I mean, look all around us. Like, it's just fields. Like, they, they could be anywhere. I wish we knew what baited them. Jesus. I guess it's the fish by the river. I don't know. So that or any other wild game, turkey, deer. And I, that thing was I, I big. I they could take a deer. Yeah. Yeah, whatever that thing was. Wrong, man. It's like, you know, that, that, that's the last thing my daughter saw. Like, Jesus Christ. I can't imagine. That's what my girlfriend saw too when she was a little girl. Yeah. I remember you saying she was pretty young when it happened. I forgot, was it her dad or her mom who got eaten by that thing? It was her father. That's why we need to find those things. No one's looking for them, you know? Everybody thinks it's a joke. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, you know, like people talked about them. Said they, they uh, came from this place called the Felt Mansion in, in Saga, like at the edge of the woods. You know, the scientists operate on it. It's just a fucking joke, you know? It's just a fucking kid story, but it's fucking real. Damn it. Everyone just thinks it's kid stories we're telling. I don't give a fuck about any of that. Like, Jesus. It's real. It's damn real.
it's like, you know, we should tell everyone. <laughs> like, we should just, it should be as easy as going to town and say, hey, we got a fucking killer on the loose, but no. All right, we'll just calm down here for a minute. Um, we'll start putting a plan together. Uh, so I'm gonna put some music on. It helps ease my mind. New York this morning, just about half past nine. I did New York this morning, just about half past nine. All right, if we're gonna kill this thing, we need a gun. That's something we should have brought along before we went out in the woods. One shot between the eyes should do it. Well, we're gonna need a big one. Use a 44 Magnum. Always on my mind. Hell on my hometown. Always I got on more my mind. Who wants something that's big enough to do the trick? Put them all in there. Always in there all the time. That's out of the head. You ever shot a gun before? Pellet gun when I was in the Boy Scouts. Pellet gun? Well, that's a little bit different than a pellet gun. Things a fucking hand cannon. I think I can manage. I also got a bow. And a shotgun. This thing ain't gonna be a deer and be fucking still. You're gonna have to. This thing's gonna be on the run. The bow ain't gonna do the job, buddy. Yeah. You got any more guns? Yeah. It's not going to kill it, but it'll scare the thing off. It's 22 long. I really doubt this is going to do much. Probably pissed off more than anything, but... Well, shit. All I got is that gun right there. This has to be our last line of defense. Point of point, that thing would do some damage. That's assuming we can get close to it. Yeah. The way that thing was running that close to yeah. it, either. Well, the way that thing was running at us back in the woods, you know, we might get that close shot that we're talking about. New York's a good town, but it's not for mine. This is interesting. Hey, Joe, get over here. What do you got? I'm looking on a background story about melon heads, and I found like a blog of an, another person saying claiming they had an encounter with a melon head. Huh? He's he's from the area too. Maybe I know him. What's his name? Wayne Forsyth. Forsyth. Yeah, I know that guy. He's 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 a young man. He uh, 
just took over the family farm down uh, 108th. We probably check that out. What is it? What is it? So scroll down. Let me. He just said he saw it out by his barn one night, and he, he could not explain what it was. Yeah, that might be worth checking yeah. out. He's a reasonable guy. He might let us poke around on his property a little bit if we tell him. Another kind of a cool thing is that they're saying that melon heads are kind of nocturnal. Okay. And that they're mostly seen at night, not day. All right. We'll talk to him tomorrow morning and see if we can set something up for later that evening. Okay. All right. This sounds good. I think you'll like this guy. He's uh, he's a little out there, but um, he he's agreeable, I guess you could say. Hey, Wayne. Oh, hey. Joe, right? Yeah, Joe. Right, Joe. Dad. Yeah, I remember you. And who's this? This is my Brian. friend Brian Clark. Brian, nice to meet you. What are you, what are you guys doing out here? Um, well, we heard uh, you had a melon thing. Oh, yeah. I remember. I, I just saw it was a late, real late at one night, and I saw and I saw something. I didn't know what it was. So. Yeah. Well, you probably remember my little encounter with him not very long ago. Yeah. Look, here's the deal. Um, first off, how's your harvest going? Is your, your season going? Uh, we're getting by, you know. It's not easy, but we're getting by. Corn looks nice this year. It is. I wish someone would buy it. Yeah, well, sorry to hear that. I'm sure you guys will make do. You guys yeah. always seem to. You and Kathy. Yeah, it ain't, it, ain't the, it ain't the worst year we've ever had. Yeah. But uh, I know we'll, we'll get by, and, you know. Look, we were wondering, would you mind if we kind of stuck out, like, staked out your ground for the melon? Well, I don't know about that. I'm pretty busy. You know, we, we have a lot to do around here. Be at night time. Okay. They say they're nocturnal, and that's when we want to go after them. I'm not so sure that... You, I don't want you boys getting hurt out there. You know, it's pretty... I, I don't know what it was I saw, but... Wayne, you know I, you know I you know my way around this area. Okay. I'm not going to get too messed up, and I'll look out for Brian here. But we got to get these things. You know, they got my daughter a couple years back, and... Hold up, hold up. You didn't hear about that? No. Yeah. That, that's what, what happened? Yeah. You know, she's out playing down by the dam, you know, where I live. Oh, no. Um, heard screams went out there. And, oh, don't tell me anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, you know what? You guys can you guys can do, what, do whatever you guys need to do. All right. We got to get these things before it kills another kid out here. Okay. You know what? I trust you, Joe, and I trust Brian too. Okay. Thanks, buddy. We'll be careful. No problem. Good luck. Good nice luck to meet to you, you, Brian. Nice to meet you. Now I gotta get back to work. Yeah. We'll be back around here at about eight. That'll be fine. All right. Thank you. Just don't wake up the dog. So, did you hear about Alan? Alan back in town? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. They found his body. He got ripped to shreds. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do they know what happened to him, or? No, they don't know what happened to him. You don't suppose it was the melon heads, do you? You know, whatever it was, it didn't look human. All right, man. We'll be careful out there. Yeah, you be, be very careful. Cool. Thanks again for letting us do this. Yeah, and good luck. Whatever it is, we'll get that son of a bitch. You got him.
Man, it was weird Wayne wasn't at his house. Yeah, that's it. That didn't seem right at all. He's usually kind of a homebody too. I know he goes out and gets groceries and shit, but it's a little bit of a simpleton if you know what I mean. Yeah, a little bit. There's something about that Allen character though. He said he disappeared like soon after you were at the bar. You know, I, I, I can safely say I really don't give a shit about that Allen guy. He was a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know. They said it looked like it was a monster that killed him. I don't even know a creature that could have torn that man's face off. I know, you don't even hear about bears doing that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It's about that time of night when, when things start to happen. Yeah. There's no footprints here, but maybe we'll hear There's something. I don't know. It's getting pretty quiet out. That's when, that's when stuff happens. That's when Wayne said he, he said he just hear things off the distance come out and see dark shadows. I'm real worried about this side. Dude, what was that? I don't know. That could be them. It came from that way. Let's 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 start heading down the river. We'll go upstream. Up this creek bed. You know, I guess that makes more sense anyways. Why would they go to the Kalamazoo River when they got this? You know? Look, a frog. Yeah. Bet you they the melon hens really like the frog. I can't imagine what else they eat off of a deer on the neck and eat for cash. What I've heard about melon heads is that they're quick as shit. Yeah. That's probably right. We should probably cross right here. Let's do it. God, there it is! Shoot it, Joe! Oh, oh shit! He's coming right towards you! Still got a lot of life in you, man. Just fight. Look, man. We got him. I mean, no, we're not crazy anymore. We got the sons of bitches that killed my daughter. Tell my wife that I love her. You know, you're a good man, Brian. We got him. We got him. <laughs> Number one, we have a man down around 108th in the Algon Woods. Get here fast.
they got him. Help! Help! I'm, I'm so sorry. He, he... What the fuck happened? It, what, they, it attacked me too. It was just, there were so many of them. What the fuck am I gonna do now? It was all I had left. I guess that's the final report. He'd be proud of you. He's dead though. So are you gonna go visit him today? Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out to Algon soon. Will you go with me? Sure. So where is his plot at? On the left over here. I can't believe he's gone. I know, but he'd be proud of you, Brian. He would. I hope there's not many more melon heads out there. There can't be that many, right? Makes you really wonder what's out there. I guess we'll never know. I wonder if this rain symbolizes Joe's death. Pretty dreary. It might. I gotta hope though we we put some uh, we put some closure to when he died by killing that thing. Yeah. I wonder, you know, if there really are more. What if there's more in other places? Ah, uh, that's mind boggling. Good thing we don't have to worry about this anymore and we can just get out of this part of town. Fresh start. I, I hope Joe's wife's fine. Yeah, it's got to be hitting her pretty hard. She's just all alone now. It's just too bad. See that?